This is Tommy Sides, and uh, this morning uh, I woke up and got my wife off to work. I made her a nice breakfast to, to take to work with her. And our cat, who normally sleeps in the laundry room, I let her out, and she was walking around, and um, everything was fine. And she's really old, and so we have her, uh, have her on medication. I told my wife, I'll give her her medication in a few minutes after you leave. And then when I uh, opened up the gate outside the house and let my wife out, she drove off, and then I came back, and I saw the cat in the, um, the middle foyer of our house laying on the floor, and I thought, ah, oh, she's just, she's old, she's sleeping, but uh, wasn't until a few minutes later I realized she's not moving, you know, so, yeah, I found her, she passed away, and um, this cat was probably the most special cat I've ever had in my life, uh, in many ways. You know, each animal is unique in their own way, but this cat symbolically means a lot to me because when my wife and I got married in December of 2007, we were invited to a farm that had a little uh, bread and breakfast there. Um, she, the lady that owns the farm is a good, dear friend of my wife's, so we got to stay there for part of our honeymoon in uh, 2007. And, the cat was there on the farm, and somebody had just left the cat and there, and so it was just living in one of the barns there on its own, you know, just trying to survive. Uh, the people there would feed it from time to time, but it was pretty much left alone all its life, and we would come back to the farm every now and again, you know, and stay for a day or two, and I'd always go back there and call the cat. I'd just say, kitty, kitty, and She'd always pop her head out somewhere, and I'd pet her, and I'd talk to her, and I'd say, you know, one day I, w I hope that maybe you can come stay with us. But it just never really worked out. Finally, in 2019, the cat was already pretty old. My wife drove up to the farmhouse where we were living at the time. She had that cat with her. And uh, so the, for nearly the last four years of that cat's life, she stayed with us. So my prayers were answered. She got to come finally live with us, and she's part of our life. And I named her a special name that I think fitted her really well, uh, Solitaire, because for most of her life, she was solitaire. She was very solitaire in her life, alone out there in the barn, like a solitaire diamond she was. So, and I've wrote a little something that I'm going to bury her with, and this is what I wrote. To our beloved kitty, dear solitaire, you died today, August 17, 2023, but I will always remember your love and devotion. I have fond memories of you, and even as Judy and I began our life journey together, you were there. I always prayed that you would one day be mine, and behold, my prayers and dreams came true. You spent nearly the last four years of your life in our home and gave us great joy. We shall miss you. God willing, I hope to have you once again in heaven with us forever. Until we meet again, your loving master, Tommy Sides. You know, I was reading an, the autobiography of one of my heroes, Billy Graham, a great man of God. And in that book, he talked about He'd been asked many times in his ministry, will there be pets in heaven? 
He said, well, I can't give you a concrete answer. There's no nowhere in scripture really that talks about it. But he said, you know, we have a great God. We serve a wonderful God. And if heaven is supposed to be a place of great joy for eternity, then he said, I'm sure that if it brings joy to our hearts to see our pets again, they will be there with us. Because they never sinned. They're part of this fallen world, but they never sinned like we did. They don't have to be redeemed like we do. They don't have to have faith in Jesus like we do. But if it's our heart's desire to have them, they'll be there. And so by faith, I'm believing that little solitaire who spent most of her life in a barn, in a lonely farm out there in South Africa, in the bushland, who I prayed for while living in the city of Pretoria. <laughs> I prayed that she'd be protected because there was a lot of, you know, animals out there on that farm and everything. Something could have happened to her. But I prayed for her, and she survived long enough for us to take her. And I hope one day she's with us again. And I hope that if you have a special animal or animals, pets that you loved, no matter what they were, even a goat or a a pig or a lamb or whatever it is, a horse, that it will be with you when you get to heaven. But you must ask. The Bible says, ask and you shall receive. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus.